Hello garden lovers, I hope you're well. Uh, I'm going to show you a couple of new purchases that I've made. Um, I was on a no buy because I have far too many plants to uh, maintain. I just don't have the time for them. Uh, I was hoping on my wish list, um, I wanted Bosca Bell and I wanted uh, the Olivia Rose Austin. Yeah, those two were on my wish list. Uh, I had intentionally, um, with the intentions of uh, getting a cutting of this uh, in my cuttings bed, but uh, I just couldn't resist the 15% off um, David Austin had on recently. So I got two Bosca Bells. This one I planted in the pot and another one I planted in the ground. So we'll see which one uh, will perform better or settle down better. And uh, this one is also on my wish list is um, Olivia Rose Austin. Now these pots are about 40 centimeters by 40 centimeters. Uh, it says on the label it's uh, 33 um, liters. Uh, and I've put in um, a mixture of uh, John Innes multi-purpose compost and also I mixed in some of the uh, chicken pellets uh, inside the compost and I've recently bought this top rose um, I think it's quite a good feed and I put them all in here and I just uh, scatter them around the, uh, around the around the rows of the base and this one um, says it's uh, what does it say it says it's uh, 5, 6, 12 I think it's quite high in uh, potassium which is uh, good for making blooms so uh, this one's already done and watered and I, I shall uh, get to uh, potting this one up later on now uh, this little guy here I got from uh, our local hardware store B&Q and they also did a 10% off uh, so I got this one because I like the picture of it I don't normally buy non-label roses because uh, I just like to see the variety but this is just an experiment so for £4.50 uh, this is just to see what varieties they come out which is very good uh, and I, um, I'm going to replace this rose that uh, hasn't performed very well for me at all this one is uh, I've had it for about three years now and it's called little white pet so I'm going to dig this one out and uh, put this one in and uh, we'll see if the blooms actually look like the one in the picture just showing you the uh, the star of the show or best flowering plant at this time is my ornamental uh, cherry blossom beautiful it's perfection right now half opened and uh, the buds are very dark pink compared to uh, compared to the lighter pink of the uh, open blossoms very beautiful and of course we have uh, oh, lots of bees. There you go. Bees love this or wasp. I'm not quite sure what it is. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at these lovely tulips. Lovely apricot salmon pink color. As I said in my previous video, uh, tulips uh, are only good on the first year these are the ones I planted uh, last autumn and it is its first year but let me show you what they look like in the following year just leaves very very sad looking not even worth not even worth growing so uh, yeah tulips only good for as an annual right now, look at these two roses. These two roses. They are last year's introduction. This one is called Danahue. Beautiful. 
gorgeous new vibrant uh, pinky red foliage and good growth considering it's only uh, only March and this one is uh, Penelope Lively it looks so scrawny and tiny uh, but it's it's uh, it's growing but the, the growth on these two roses is so so far apart so different this one has very small leaves uh, last year this Penelope Lively seemed to be the one that was more popular and uh, when I bought it it flowered so well for me good fragrance good health and it just seems so promising not to say it's not promising but I'm just comparing these two roses here both uh, of the same age and treated the same way can be so different hopefully this uh, Penelope will catch up um, well, uh, this is only my uh, this will be my second summer so well for everybody really so we're not quite sure what to expect but I'm just quite surprised at the uh, the difference in these uh, new edition roses this I thought was an underdog uh, of last year everybody seemed to uh, verge towards uh, Penelope Lively uh, but here we even have a bud so the Dana Hue has uh, surprisingly uh, become the prettier or the better rose I mean at this stage so uh, let's see how we get on in the summer. Yeah, here we go. Last year's introductions, Dana Hugh and uh, Penelope Lively. <laughs> 